Morning everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. I want to be able to tell a story today about touts and I first went into touts in Nailsy and uh, was overwhelmed and pleasantly surprised with what I saw. It's a petrol station but it's also a food store and so I messaged them and I said look can we get together and so I can find out a little bit more. So I ended up here today at their Langford store and I'm going to meet John who's going to tell me all about Touts. I'm Jonathan Tout. Um, my mum and dad first started their businesses up in Shipham almost 40 years ago. Um, they opened this one back in the year 2000 and ever since then we've always tried to develop it and keep it at the front of what convenience stores are doing. So in around about 2000 we first opened it um, and then it was quite a small convenience store on a petrol station and ever since then we found that the more we develop the store and the bigger we make it, the more people want to come and use it. The latest development we've gone from being a Budgeons franchise store to now being our own brand and the main drive behind that is that we wanted to be as good as we could be at our own food and in particular food that comes from local suppliers. So the strap line that we've got which is passionate about food that goes through everything we do so when we were with part of a franchise we could only buy a certain amount locally now we have free reign to buy as much as we like so our biggest focus at the moment is recruiting new local suppliers and particularly with what's going on with stock availability and Brexit and Covid and all the other things that have happened our local suppliers have been what has meant our offer has stayed better than a lot of what anything you've seen in the big boys because we've been able to keep product available by using those local suppliers. So lots of businesses like to talk about doing local and doing it well. I think a lot of them possibly pay lip service to it. Um, and previously probably that included us. But recently with our changeover to being our own brand, we now support over 40, 50 local suppliers and hundreds and hundreds of lines within that. Um, for us, we wanted to get really clear about what local really means. And it's not just different, it truly has to be local. So ours only include Somerset and Bristol postcodes. Um, and the only ones that we would stock that aren't also in the multiple, so for us local, shouldn't be stocked in the big four supermarkets unless it's literally within three miles of our store. So the likes of Yo Valley or Thatcher's, which you will see in the multiples, we do class that as local just because it is, it is so close to us. Um, the reason that we love local so much and why I think it's so important is for both for customers and for us, it's what truly makes us different to the other supermarkets. You can't go into the big four and get the level of product that you can in here. And a lot of that is because those artisanal, special, high quality producers just couldn't keep up with the volume that would be needed for one of the big multiples. So for us to be different, we can get that quality of product on a scale that works for the producer, but also works really well for us, which makes us special, but also delivers a much higher quality of product to the customer. So everybody wins. The reason I think local is important for the customer side of things, there's the sustainability end where you are reducing food miles and all those things, but also you're just getting a much higher quality of product that you can't get through the big boys. Right, I've been here 60 years, just over, and this is my domain and nobody touches it. <laughs> Love them, especially the winners we've just had in now. That, that is brilliant and no way Pullins is absolutely fabulous because they use less um, um, additives in their, in their bread, so it's very popular. So our two main passions are local and food. Everything that we do is either passionate about food or passionate about local. So when we started working with as many local suppliers as we've got now, we made a commitment to take a portion of all those sales that come from local products and donate them to what's called our Maddle Fund, which is our Making a Difference Locally. And with that, we wanted to make sure it was still focused on food and local people. So we've made a commitment to try and feed over a million people or a million meals for families and people that are in need. And all the percentages from all the products that we sell, which are local, go into that fund. And then we return it through charities which help people eat that can't, can't afford to. So one of the things I personally love about supporting local suppliers is the stories that go with them. So some of the suppliers we've worked with, we went and found them when they were just a retail outlet or they were just one person on their own. And some of them, in particular the, the florists, have grown massively as a result of it. So when we started with them, they had a flower shop and they did weddings and all that sort of thing. Um, we started as their first wholesale customer and now they're supplying a lot of the independent supermarkets or convenience stores within the whole of the southwest and some of the national ones as well. And to see another local business grow that much from starting off working with us is just amazing. I love to see it. So what we're always trying to do is put together the best bits that you would find in a farm shop and the quality and product that they can deliver on a local level as well as the clean, crisp supermarket that people expect to be able to go to and get their whole weekly shop or at least get what they need for a top-up shop. I think the 
farm shops and the high-end food outlets are really good at that specialist stuff, but it can be quite difficult to get everything you need. So we're trying to take the clean, crisp supermarket with all the value that you can get from co-op product and a lot of the supermarket branded lines and put that alongside the very best local, high-quality product that we can find so you can get the best of both worlds and get everything you need. So although we currently still just have the two sites in Langford and Nailsey, the convenience stores and, and petrol stations, um, the plan is to get to 10 in and around the southwest. So our next site, which is Cleve, we're going to try and take that passion for food one step further. We're going to have our own pub, which is the first time we've ever done it, with our own chef. And what we're really aiming to do is be able to take product from the very earliest stages of its life cycle all the way through so that we don't have any wastage and we can look after the food at each stage of its life to make sure we get the very best out of it. Because one of our other commitments is to try and get to zero food waste for a food business. And that's what we're starting in Cleve with producing our own food through the maple and the maple kitchen. Then when we get to Taunton, which is our, our next one, which is bigger again, um, that'll have another pub, but it'll also have a big prep kitchen, which will allow us to start producing our own food on a scale that will mean we can get even further away from mass produced food and start producing stuff that's really special. So we can't wait to open Cleve in spring 2022. We're gonna try and take that level of food offer that we're doing in a convenience store to the absolute next level. Can't wait to see everybody there and come and see what it's like. That was amazing. Um, what a story. What a great story for a hunter-gatherer cooking. You can get absolutely everything that you need in a weekly shop and you don't have to go to the big supermarkets where they have been known for the, um, the, the dropping quality. An amazing family, a great story. The, the team that were in there, um, all I saw was smiling faces and happy people. They want to be here. They want to work here. The products seem absolutely excellent i cannot wait to see where this journey goes thanks very much for watching if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon